everybody, Monta here playing Life is Feudal 101 and today I'm going to bring up my skills and I wanted to kind of explain how I'm going to be building out the rest of these episodes. Now I kind of talked about the basics of like controls and how to move and basic terraforming and building your primitive weapons. Now on your skills you can see that there's you know kind of a top down of early on skills and each one of those unlocks another skill to the right. So I kind of want to base each episode on like, okay, one day we're going to talk about prospecting. We already know kind of how to level that up just by clicking on the ground and prospecting for minerals. But then we're going to work on how to do mining, smelting, and forging, kind of all in one episode. This episode, though, I want to stick to forestry, logging, maybe get a little bit into carpentry. Some things we want to hold off on, like bow crafting and warfare engineering, I'm going to get into those, but there's not really a point until we actually start leveling up our military skills and things like that to actually continue to move on. So what I want to do this episode, like I said, is let's talk about forestry, logging, and I found a little place on the island. So I'm out on the island kind of looking out towards the cove. Here's the map so you can actually get an idea of where I am. It is morning time. You can still see the stars out. The sun is starting to peak over the ridge, so it will brighten up a little bit more. One tip, if it's nighttime and you still want to kind of forage and you're having a really, really hard time because default settings are dark, hit escape, go to your video, and just kind of up your brightness level down here. I tend to have most of my stuff kind of leveled up pretty well. I wanted to show you, let's get right to it. Let's go to our forestry and show you how to upgrade it. My current skill is at 88, uh, which is high enough to unlock logging. So it kind of goes in levels of 30, so if you get like a level uh, 30 on forestry, you should be able to start working on your logging, but you're only going to be able to go up to level 29 in logging. So same thing, and then when you get forestry, you get up to 60, then this one's going to be kind of limited as well. So I like to up all my forestry first. There's multiple ways we can do this. One of the things that we can do is say, uh, right click on the ground, not even on a tree, like uh, get a nice square here. Let's find out a little bit of a flatter ground, maybe something up high like this. And there's forestry. So basically these are all going to associate themselves with the skills. So if you want to up forestry, click on your forestry. If you want to up your farming, try things on farming. So forestry, create a campfire. This is actually going to up our skills. So you just go ahead and click on what you want to up here, which is the campfire, and hit build. And then it's going to go to kind of that observe mode. You have some options here. We haven't built anything yet, so this is a little bit exciting. This one you kind of can move it back and forth, side to side like that. Or this one's going to go the other way. Or you get this nice little wee, you can rotate it around. Okay, so let's just go ahead and leave this guy right there. And then you click build. And he's going to go down and kind of fiddle with his tools and everything like that. This one actually, tools isn't a good example because he's not actually using tools in this case for the campfire. It's the very basic thing. But he doesn't actually complete it yet. What it does is it kind of sets it down so it's ready for construction. Anything you do that with is going to give you one of these little signs with an X on it. So you just go up to it and you click on it and it's going to show you the building that you're trying to build and it's going to show you what it requires to build it. So luckily, if I pull up my inventory here, I actually have five sticks on me. Ooh, just enough. So I don't have enough for another primitive tool, but we can always go up to a branch, uh, up to a tree and get more branches. So let's go ahead and click build with the five sticks right in the little, you know, wicker square box area. And voila, we now have a campfire built. Now if you click on the campfire, uh, notice I'm just doing my left click, which is my default option. You can always do a right click and see what your options are. Right now with the campfire, all we can do is add some fuel. Eventually you will be able to cook and things like that, but again, it doesn't show you things that you don't know how to do. So we have to level things up to actually get to that point. So now you can see, okay, I've got a campfire. You're like, why doesn't it work? I'm trying to light it on. Well, it doesn't really explain much here, but you can see there's a weight. There's zero out of 50. So that means this can hold 50, basically, weight, which is kind of like each one is like a one stone, okay? So what we want to do here is kind of put some type of wood or, or billet or log or something in here to get this fire going. So let's just run up to the trees. And here is the tree. And now here you get two options, forestry and logging. 
Now, if you just started out the game, remember all we could do was forestry. Now, the reason for that is because we have leveled up our forestry enough to where now we can actually work on our logging. Okay, so like I said, I want to get my forestry all the way up. So anything on the forestry trap, like getting a sprout, inspecting a tree, and snapping a branch is all going to level you up. So we know how to snap a branch. We know how to get a sprout. Let's go ahead and inspect the tree. This is going to give you a little bit more information like what type of tree it is, what's the quality, which this is a quality of 10, and let's say it has been chopped down 0% and it contains useful items. It contains 7 bark, it contains 13 branches, and 2 tree pine tree sprouts. So we haven't done any type of planting, so I want to go ahead before I cut it down, I want to get the sprouts, and you don't require any tools for these simple forestry acts right here. But for logging, you're going to want to make sure that you have those primitive tools made and the two that you're going to need is your hatchet, which is, your, sorry, not your hatchet, but your axe, which is going to chop it down, and your saw, which is actually going to be used to turn what you chop down into billets, boards, or construction logs. So, it looked like uh, we upped our forestry skill. I want to see if, uh, it said it had two sprouts, so I want to get those off. As you can see in my little system, I got a pine tree sprout, and its quality is going to be the same as the tree. So as soon as I do this, I'm going to pull up the inventory. This is what your little sprouts look like. And what you can see is they are, if I just hold my mouse over it, they're quality 10. So that definitely matches what we saw on here. Now, you might want to want to know a little bit more about trees. Uh, there's different kinds. There's softwood and hardwood. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post in one of these corners on here in post editing all the different types of trees and depending on the quality of the tree and the size of the tree it's going to make a difference on how many materials you get from it. So it is actually a good idea in our village what we're doing is we're just clear cutting all the low quality trees and we're planting only high quality trees so we don't even have to worry about just the junk that's around. So let's go ahead and chop this guy down. Make sure you have your axe equipped and then you can say, well for one, you want to get bark first. That's one way that you can get your skill if you couldn't yet work on chopping it down. So boom, this should say bark one. Our logging has increased by 27.2 to 27.22. So as you can see now, boom, we have forestry skills and now we have logging skills. That's the basics of that. The next thing you can do to get more points is go ahead and just cut it down. I'm going to go ahead and get it in a third person view so we can get a little bit better of a view here. So for one thing is you've got this stump. The stump is basically just preventing you from terraforming. It's also preventing you from planting in this spot. Uh, what you can do to do that is go to logging and uproot. Unfortunately, you don't get any type of wood or anything like it. And as you can see, it takes a long time. So you want to be aware sometimes if you're like out in the middle of the forest and you know you're not really going to build out in that area, you might as well just leave the stumps. Uh, some people don't like how they look, but I tend to really not care about them too much. However, I do want to build a hut and that's what we want to talk about too and that's the reason why I'm working on my forestry and logging this episode is we want to get some shelter. Uh, we've lived two days out in the wilderness and it's time to uh, change that. So as you can see here it's a, a softwood tree and the softwood tree is going to be nice. So you can go to carpentry now and you can either saw out a billet, you can saw out a board, or you can saw out a building log. And general object, or general actions is you can lift it. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. This is me lifting this log. You're going to get some power lifting achievements for, for doing this so, so many times. Uh, so you can actually move the log around or you can just cut it down where it is and chop it into billets. But you want to just drop an object and just like the campfire, you can move it side to side. This one, you're allowed to move it up and down and rotate it, woo, like that. And then just when you're ready, go ahead and place it on the ground. So this is nice, like if you get assigned to a logging skill, you could go chop down a bunch of trees, carry them back to town, and put them in a nice little stack. Uh, so that's something you can do. But we want to actually get some other stuff going with our village. So before I talk any more about my logging, I want to show you what I was doing here. Now remember how to observe. You go to your terraforming observe mode here. 
and I am trying to flatten out this area here. I want for a tiny hut, uh, just through experience I've learned it takes a four square by four square area. Now I've already flattened out most of it besides this one little chunk here because I wanted to finish it on camera. So what you do is go to your terraforming and go to, you could either do raised ground but if you want to make it perfectly flat don't even mess with that. Right click on your flattened ground to make it a default action and if you have dirt in your inventory because notice I have to raise the ground in this case I do already have some dirt so I'm gonna just dump some more on the ground and then as you can see we'll observe I don't usually check it every time because if you keep flattening it you know it will actually flatten to the correct point but just to prove what's going on here we're now at 8.299999 so let's do a few more actions here boom Boom, and see how that puts the dirt down actually pretty fast. When you see this time now the progress bar is going a little bit slower, that's because he's actually at the correct, actually let me show you. He's at the correct level, it's just not actually flat. So if we go to observe, you might be going, hey, what's the deal? This is 8.5, this is 8.5, but it takes one more step. Basically you get it to the correct level, but then once it's at the correct level, you actually have to fully flatten it out. You know it's fully flattened out when you go to that observe mode and it's a nice green square. So as soon as we have this guy flattened out right here, boom, we now have a nice 4x4 area. I even did a little bit of 9.5s up top for maybe a furnace or something in the upcoming episodes. And then this little 8.5 spot, I figured, well, I want to show you if you've got inventory and you got too much stuff on you, what you can do is just right click and say drop. And what that's going to do is if you look on the ground, it's going to put a little bag on the ground. Now this isn't like rust where your bag has like a time limit or anything like that. You will see a little timer, but what that is, that's just an ownership timer. Uh, so you can't actually lock a bag or anything like that. You only have two minutes where it's just your bag. After that, anyone can walk up to it and access it, so keep that in mind as well. You might kind of want to, if you want a bag that you don't want someone to mess with, you might want to have like a little tree out in the forest that you hide it by or something like that. But then you can kind of right click, well, you can't kind of, you definitely can right click on the bag and then you can see what's inside it. These bags are awesome, they hold 10,000. Uh, once you can build crates and barrels and things like that, they really don't hold very much, maybe like 10 or 50 weight to where this thing is just awesome. The nice thing about the chests and uh, maybe even better containers later on is you might eventually be able to put locks on them and actually keep them a little bit more secure. So I don't really want to plant these saplings yet. I just want to throw them in there. Actually, I don't really ever want to plant them because they're really bad quality. So I'm just going to put them to the side right now. As you can see, all this stuff can go here. I could also put my pickaxe and all that. But really, there's not a need to do that now. I've got plenty of inventory on me. I need to just continue to up my skills. Now, you might be going like, hey, I wanted to build my house. How do I do it? Uh, nothing's showing up. Um, if I go to my skills now, you can see that since we got our logging up to 82, our next level of carpentry has now unlocked. So, because of that, anywhere I go, when I click on the ground, you have a new option. You didn't see this before. Now you have carpentry, and you can construct furniture. Chairs, tables, benches, there's that barrel I talked about. This is all you have to start. Once we actually start continuing to up our carpentry skill, then we can actually build more stuff and cool stuff like that, okay? But you might have noticed, hey, I don't have a house there. What's the deal? Well, that's because the house is not under carpentry. It's actually under construction materials preparation. Now, this has a furnace. That's all you can build uh, to start with. So that's one way to up this skill. Now, construction materials preparation, that's right here after terraforming. So since I flattened all this ground out, that bumped my terraforming up to 100, my construction materials prep is now at zero, but at least I can finally unlock that feature so I can start working on it. Now I'm going to give you some tips next episode when I start talking more about mining and things like that and we start actually building the house on how to up your construction materials prep. And as you can see right here, this is construction. That's where we can really get into some of the really cool buildings and things like that. 
which then unlocks masonry. But that's jumping ahead. Let's just stick with our forestry, logging, and carpentry skills this time, okay? So, we know we want to get some more logs. We want to hop up here. Let's say, I don't know. Let's look at a different tree. Ooh, wow, the sun's kind of beaming through. I've got the brightness up a little bit too high for daytime, so usually I kind of lower it back down. I'm not even gonna inspect this tree. Uh, right now I just kind of want to clear cut a little bit, put some logs down, and let's see, let's right click on the log and let's start working on our carpentry skill here as well. Um, notice how I could do carpentry and build a chair or furniture. An easier way to up your carpentry skill is just go to one of your logs that you chopped down and saw out some boards, saw up some billets, and yeah, I think for the town or for the little tiny shacks, we're also going to need construction logs. So you can see I need to catch my breath uh, before I perform that action, but in my inventory, keep hitting the L key for that, I now have two construction boards. Now these boards do start to add up in weight pretty fast, so I also want to start working on billets. Billets are basically like you see this log that's on the ground right here. If you chop it up into little pieces of like for your campfire, hint, hint, that's what billets are. Um, so we're going to get some billets. And remember, how much weight was on that campfire? 50, right? So each billet weighs 10. So we can put five billets in that campfire. Now you can keep your inventory up while this is going. You can kind of watch what's going on here. He will continue hands-free to just keep chopping billets automatically until either the log disappears or his inventory fills up. So let's head over to our campfire now that it's daytime <laughs> and click on our campfire, add some fuel, hit your inventory here and let's throw, see if you try to put six over there, it's gonna say you can't place that there, there's no more room. Remember, hold down shift, left click on your on your billet here and then you're gonna get a split option so I'm gonna do out of the six I'm gonna do a five to one that's gonna get this one guy out here so now drop your five billets into the fire now let's pretend it's nighttime all you have to do is press light on and then you get this really cool big fire but also be careful because this fire can be seen from the mainland and See that? There's a village over there and there's a castle building up. So I want to be careful and I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. So I'm going to very quickly go back onto this and you can either add more fuel or now that it's lit, we get farming skill where we can actually prepare. Look at all this. We can prepare fish, we can make some bacon, mm -mm. boiled chicken, fried beast, all kinds of cool stuff. So that's another way to make food. But again, Life, life root is good enough and maybe we can find some of those apple trees that you saw on that list where you can also farm on that to get apples. So let's extinguish this fire, keep ourselves a little bit more stealthy, but as you can see from just chopping those woods, uh, those logs and billets and boards and all that, uh, our carpentry skill has already jacked all the way up to 73. Now. See all these little up arrows? My server again is at 2500, so we're already at 600. Default servers, sometimes the skill cap is at 600. Uh, so what you can do is you could click on these and you can either lock it at its current skill level, you can have it to where it's decreasing, and what that means is if another skill increases, like if I start work, working on farming, it will take points away from here and add it onto farming. So if you're in a server that's got a low skill cap, be aware of the locking, raising, and all that good stuff, but in the server I play, I always like um, everyone to be able to do what they want. If they're going to want to play for 15 hours a day or whatever, and they want to learn all the skills, more power to them. I don't want to restrict that. Uh, but this is why it becomes a multiplayer game to where you have someone whose focus is just logging, someone whose focus is just farming, and so on and so forth. So there you have it. We've got our crafting skills, logging skills, and carpentry skills up. Uh, now that those carpentry skills are up, we still can't build the town, uh, tiny shack, the town, the tiny shack because of the construction materials prep, which we'll build soon next episode. However, our carpentry, if we go to construct furniture, look at that, now we can make simple beds, weapon racks, armor stands, those don't seem to be working as of yet, but your chest, crate, barrel, alchemist table, which is useful, workbench which is useful, spinning wheel which will need to make rope, but that's way down the line because you need farming and everything. Everything in this game is a process which is why I want to kind of keep these 
simple and to the point for each episode. This episode is, is logging, construction, all that good stuff. So hopefully you learned something about trees today. And I'm going to go ahead and pop up all those trees again. Feel free to pause it. Take a look at what the quality stands for, all that kind of stuff on the different style trees. And next episode, we will work on our construction materials prep. A little bit of mining because that's kind of a little trick of how to actually work on that. So next episode, make sure you bring your shovel and your pickaxe and see you guys there. Thanks for watching. See you in part four. Hey, so I can pick this thing up and carry it back. Oh, have you seen lifting them? Have you seen that? Oh, man. No. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, you know what? That's what we should do. We should pick it up and drop them off in town, dude. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, dude. On video, man. That is sick. Shows the man. Hey, so I put a saddle on him. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Blue? So much. Oh, I'm up right over here, I guess. Yes, dude, nice. Woo! I just spin him around and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then when you set him down, they re die. Watch yeah. This. You'll see, no, you'll see when you actually place them. You've seen the building. Right? Uh, perfect. Dude, we could just stack these all up or all around the whole thing. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice. Just a whole row of them.